Hello everybody, I'm The Metal Helper and welcome to my channel. I realized that my content up until now has been just really serious and people don't come to YouTube just to watch serious stuff. Lots and lots of people, myself included, actually come to YouTube to just relax and have some fun. So I thought I might just start providing a little bit more jokier content. Okay, what do people find funny these days? And that's it, I was just gonna make a meme video and end of story. But then I thought, why should I make a meme video? I mean, I'm just a grumpy metalhead who doesn't like fun stuff and listens to music with a lot of distortion and shit. And then it dawned on me. <laughs> so yeah, ear rape, we're making a video about ear rape. Everybody's favorite meme, as long as it doesn't just pop out of nowhere and <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, as long as it doesn't do that. In this video and a follow-up that I'm going to upload in a couple of days, I'm gonna show you how to create ear raping sounds by using a couple of different techniques. So as I've already mentioned, ear rape relies on distortion and specifically audio distortion. Audio distortion occurs when an audio producing device is boosted past its volume producing limits, so it kinda has to chop up the waveform. In technical terms, this is called clipping the waveform. So you see here, this is the original sound, and when you get the device to play it too loud, the sound will start hitting a limit of some sort. This results in an obviously altered sound that has a lot of higher frequency content compared to the original. The example that Wikipedia gives for this one is first a not distorted clean sound and then distorted version and another one and a different one. So that's some of the stuff that distortion can do to the sound of an actual instrument. However, in ear rape, we usually apply distortion on a full track, a whole song. So let's go see how to do that. So we're here, we're using Audacity. It's a totally free program that you can download for yourself. And it's the best starter program for anyone who is interested in audio production or, or just messing around with audio, I guess. It's also open source, so if you're good with programming, you might be able to customize it to your liking, I guess. I'm not entirely sure how that stuff works out. So, uh, for an example, we're going to use a bit that I'm working on. This is actually not finished and it's definitely not perfect because I don't usually make beats as the channel name should suggest. I'm more into rock and metal stuff, but actually it's been good fun trying to write a more, I guess, chill hip hop kind of beat. Please don't hate me if you're into that kind of stuff. It's actually my first time trying this. So anyway, the most obvious way to create an ear raping effect is just to go to the Amplitude selection and crank it all the way up, allow clipping and I haven't actually turned on the English, you know, that's it, so you're seeing it in Greek. Wait a second there. <coughs> okay, so we're back and it's actually now in just English so everybody can understand. We, you go to effect, amplify, you just allow clipping and crank the volume as high as it can go. You press OK, the program processes the sound, and now it's just a big block of ear raping goodness. Let's take a listen. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. But anyway, why the hell did I delete this? <laughs> okay. Okay, now we're back. So this is obviously the easiest way to do it, but let's say that you want to have a baser sound, like it's just a brutal bass and nothing else in your ear rape. 
The way we're going to do this is by using the equalization effect of audacity. And what you're actually looking at now is called an equalizer. Uh, it's an audio processing tool that allows you to boost or cut the different frequencies separately. So if you want to have a really basic ear rape, you just click two times to make two points on this one and you raise the bass. You see, their frequencies are charted down. You can easily see what you're boosting. So you don't really need to go overboard because the volume is going to get pumped up to shit anyway. So you apply the equalization. You see that we're clipping already. And then you go and just make everything as loud as you possibly can. And now the track is just going to sound a lot bassier. Wow, that's like just bass. Now, suppose that you don't want that much bass in your sound, but you prefer a more ear piercing type of ear rape. There's a way to do that too. We're just going to use the equalization differently. We cut out all of the bass frequencies and we boost the treble ones. And then we apply the equalization. If I play the beat now, you'll hear that it's just mids and treble and no bass whatsoever. So like, yeah, all the bass is gone. And if we then amplify it past the point of insanity, we get this lovely sound that rapes our ear canals. Oh my god, my ears are like bleeding over here. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around until the end of the video. As I said, I will be uploading a follow-up video in the next couple of days. That video is gonna cover uh, the more, I guess, advanced ear rape techniques, if you can call them that. Anyway, thanks again for watching and until the next video, have a good one.